and welcome to this edition of School Notes. I'm Sierra Lewis and I am very excited for this new school year. It's like you barely blink and it's suddenly the start of the new year. Teachers and staff throughout Hampton City Schools have been preparing for the arrival of the next crop of students. The first day of school is Tuesday, September the 8th, and we wanted to find out what students, teachers, and staff are looking forward to in the new school year. Here's Hampton High freshman Xavier Williams with this report. The hallways of Hampton High School are mostly empty right now, but soon they will be filled with students, teachers, and staff. Today we got to speak to some of them, including our Hampton City School Superintendent, Dr. Jeffrey Smith. So let's see what they're looking forward to in the new school year. Well, every year my goal for my students in the classroom and also in the activities that I coach is to turn them into better readers, writers, thinkers, and speakers. I'm looking forward to opportunities. Um, the past two years I've been in the IB program, but now I'm moving to governor school. And in governor school, I'm hoping to meet more people, have more opportunities, um, experience new things, and figure out what I want to do with my life. The 2014-15 school year was tremendous for Hampton High School and we're looking for this year to be even better. We had great successes academically. We are fully accredited. We are very proud of our staff and our students. We want to increase the community's awareness of all the tremendous things that are happening here at Hampton High. What is your main goal for the 2015-2016 school year? Um, you know, when we talk about the, the main goal, that is obviously student achievement and success. And so I'm looking forward to the school year and its opening and uh, certainly meeting the students and uh, knowing that uh, we'll engage them in an effective teaching and learning process. Probably just the new things. It's going to be a lot of new things. I'm doing New Horizons, so I'm just like it's going to be a new learning experience and I can't wait to see what this does to boost me up as a person. I hope that students teach me a way to focus in on what works for them. Um, we all learn differently, we all have different styles, so if they bring in a new style, then that will help me help them to become better people, to become better learners. You guys come with plenty of energy daily, so we're, we're gonna have our uh, A game on. We want to make sure that you all are in, a, in, a, in an environment that's great for learning. We want you to be safe. You're coming here to learn and we're going to open our doors and open your minds to the things that you need to be successful in life. Looks like everybody's ready for the new school year. I hope you have a good one as well. Reporting for School Notes, I'm Xavier Williams. Agility, coordination, and talent. Those are just some of the skills required to participate in a high school marching band. Hampton City Schools band students have been practicing this summer gearing up for football season and regional competitions. We visited Kickatan High School to see how band students are meeting the challenges. This is not as easy as some of us make it look because we're multitasking with so many different things. Five, six, seven, twelve, and one. It was it was harder than I realized, and then again, it was easier than I thought it was going to be. There was a lot of challenges that I had to overcome, but now that I'm doing it and I've gotten used to it, it's a lot more fun than when I first started. We've been working on marching and music for the past uh, three days, and even before band camp, we have a couple of rehearsals in July and the beginning of August to make sure kids are ready for these intense two weeks. When we're out in the field, not only do we have to worry about our memorized music, we don't have the music with us, we also have to worry about our steps, about the forms that we're making, about keeping, uh, keeping every part of our body looking confident, looking radiant. Students not just become better musicians, but also better people as far as learning discipline, making sure they're committed to a craft. I tell a lot of students that are coming up in the ninth grade that joining band is one of the first things you can do, one of the best things you can do to start having a group of friends, a group of people to um, help you out through those first couple weeks. I'm a really socially awkward person, so this is like a good experience for me to try and like make a lot of friends with everybody, and so that's what I'm getting out of it, and also just pure memories to carry on when I get out of high school. I wanted something like that when I leave. 
and this is like a great thing to do. Recently, the Transportation Department of Hampton City Schools partnered with Wavy TV 10 to participate in Operation School Supplies Stuff the Bus. Operation School Supplies is an annual Wavy TV 10 effort to collect st school supplies so that needy students in the viewing area can start the school year off with everything they need to be successful. We are always pleased and happy to participate in any event that we can assist our children, our parents, our community. Uh, anytime that we can help, we want to do so. Uh, so just bringing a bus out to actually gather school supplies for our students uh, to kick off the school year on September the 8th, uh, we're just very excited to do that, to know that it takes a village to raise a child. Uh, and our drivers and our department, we're dedicated to doing that. Uh, we want to participate in any way we can to assist our children to make sure that they're getting the school supplies that they need. SEAS is the back to school kickoff event that equips families of students who attend Title I schools in Hampton with vital information and resources to help ensure a successful start to the upcoming school year. The acronym SEAS was mean strengthening educational experience to create dynamic students captures the mission and goal of this annual event. This event was held recently at several locations throughout Hampton. In addition to the Health and Wellness Center, Hampton City Schools has opened a pharmacy. HCS employees and their covered dependents now have access to lower cost prescriptions and over-the-counter medications through the HCS Employee Pharmacy, which opened in mid-June. Both the Wellness Center and Pharmacy are located at 2238 Todd's Lane in Hampton. HCS is the only school division in Virginia with an employee health center and pharmacy. Stay tuned for an interview on Wired In featuring pharmacy employees. We wanted to follow up to a story we shared at the end of last school year. Armstrong School for the Arts students made picket fences through a grant from the Hampton Arts Commission. The picket fences were hung up around the exterior of the school recently. Make sure you stop by to check out the students' artwork. There are a lot of creative pickets and it gives the school a unique new look. Next up, let's check out the social media highlights from around Hampton City Schools. On Twitter, it's back to school for teachers. There are so many tweets from educators gearing up for the new school year. They have spent a lot of time training and preparing their classrooms for students. On Facebook, Davis Middle staff rode on school buses to visit neighborhoods in their zone. Teachers were happy to see each other and meet new staff members. Lindsay Middle teachers met with professional development. They learned about Google-powered classrooms, core instructional strategies, and many other topics. And several Hampton teachers partner with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and have an opportunity to go canoeing and learn about the ecosystem. Remember, you can keep up with our schools through HCS's homepage. Each school maintains its own website to keep everyone connected to all the latest happenings. That's it for this edition of School Notes. You can continue to stay connected with us by clicking like, follow, and subscribe on your favorite social media sources. We wish everyone a great start to the new school year with Hampton City Schools. Remember, it's every child, every day, whatever it takes. See you next time.